Welcome to From Ambition to Action, Episode 1. And action! Today we will be talking to Alan about MSC's journey to net zero. Hi, Alan. Alan, climate change is on everyone's mind. And for good reasons. Who, in your opinion, has the responsibility of driving climate actions? As I like to say, we're all in the same boat. So it's up to every single one of us to do the best we can. Climate action is imperative, and time is of the essence. So knowing that, at MSC, we're taking action right now by navigating our journey to net zero. MSC is moving from ambition to action. Can you tell us more about how you're doing that? With massive investment and innovative technologies to improve the energy efficiency of our fleet, new build and retrofit programs, exploration of low and zero carbon fuels with ongoing trials, R&D partnerships, strategic alliances, and offering our customers the opportunity to opt for our MSC biofuel solution. Can you elaborate more on biofuel? Well, first, it's not just any biofuel. We make sure the biofuel we provide is responsibly sourced and made a certified second-generation biocomponents. That sounds like a mouthful, but what it means is very simple. We do not grow crops for biofuel. That would exhaust the soil and take up land that could be used to grow food. Instead, we use only used cooking oil. Crispy! And to go further, does it mean that by providing biofuel, MSC contributes directly to the decarbonization of the supply chains? Correct. Carbon insetting has an immediate impact on the environment by reducing emissions and producing CO2 savings in the value chain. How does carbon insetting differ from carbon offsetting? Carbon offsetting is mostly done through means of future reforestation. This solution does not provide immediate reduction of CO2 emissions in the transportation value chain, but refers to projects that deliver future emission reductions outside of the shipping value chain. Thank you, Alan. That was incredibly informative. Thank you. Come back soon.